Over the past two decades, the gut microbiome has been a hot topic in health and wellness. People are recognizing its importance and science is making incredible discoveries. Two ways to alter the gut microbiome that have grown in interest are probiotics and fecal microbiota transplantation, or FMT. While they may seem similar on the surface, they're actually quite different. So today, we're going to take a deep dive to better understand these two approaches and their impacts on gut health and answer the really important question, probiotics versus FMT, what's the real difference? First, let's talk about probiotics. Probiotics are living microorganisms that are intended to provide health benefits when consumed. While probiotics have been around for a long time, they gave more traction in the 20th century for their ability to alter the gut microbiome and restore balance within the gut. Probiotics can help restore the gut microbiome, reduce inflammation and GI symptoms. But here's the catch. They're transient and they don't engraft in the gut microbiome. Simply put, while helpful, probiotics don't stick around in the gut microbiome and their effects are short-lived. They're like travelers. They're helpful while passing through, but their effects don't stick around once they leave. It is possible that probiotics may have negative effects during gut dysbiosis or gut dysfunction. As one study showed, probiotics actually could delay the effects of gut recovery after disruption, such as antibiotics, but this is a point of contention. So how is FMT different? Fecal microbiota transplantation might sound icky, but trust us, it's revolutionary. FMT involves transferring the full spectrum of good, healthy gut microbes from a healthy donor's stool into a recipient's gut. The beauty of FMT lies in its ability to fully engraft in the recipient's gut, providing long-lasting and big changes for gut health and overall wellness. So in a nutshell, probiotics are helpful but temporary, while FMT provides it a grafted and diverse gut microbial community that's long-lasting. The healthy donor's gut makes a thriving community when the recipient's gut, providing big, long-lasting changes and improved gut health. Actually, FMT has demonstrated its effectiveness in a variety of conditions, such as recurrent C. diff infections, inflammatory bowel disease, metabolic disorders, Parkinson's disease, autism spectrum disorder, and beyond. So what are the main differences between probiotics and FMT? First, FMT provides a complete and diverse gut microbiome containing trillions of microbes, where probiotics tend to only contain a few bacterial strains. Second, FMT provides full engraftment of the new gut microbiome, has been shown to be more effective in restoring gut health than probiotics, and probiotics are known to be transient and not engraft. And there you have it, the fascinating differences between probiotics and FMT. Thanks for watching. If you want to read more about this or know where this information came from, check out our blog. The link's in the description. Also, if you want more gut health tips or educational gut content, Check us out on social media. 